today's short tutorial is for me to explain exactly how to take care of your nails, nail plate, and so you will always have nice and healthy nails. The first thing you need to look at is that your nails are not dry. Now I haven't done anything the last couple of weeks because I wanted my nails to look a little bit dry. But uh, by the end of this short little tutorial, you will see a major difference between this and the nails afterwards. So. First thing first, you look at the health of the nail. Remember that the nails are a mirror of your health. So if your nails are uh, pink in color um, and they have uh, no ridges, uh, there's no bumps or, or um, discoloration or little white spots, then your, your body is pretty healthy. So let's look at here the file as I'm filing my nails. So when you file, never go back and forth. Uh, we do have a, a tendency to go like this, but it is very bad. The proper way is to file from corner to center, corner to center, corner to center, and corner to center. If your nails are uh, long and you want to shorten, so that is the time that you might want to use a nail clipper to shorten to the level that you want and then you conclude with going inwards from corner to center and corner to center, corner to center. The reason why is because the nail is made up of a keratin, hard keratin. So if you're going back and forth like this, you're going to open the cuticle and that will weaken the nail. So very important that you file from corner to center and corner to center. So I'm going to file all my nails for this hand and then I will get back. So now I filed all my five nails and for this purpose of this tutorial, I will do one hand because I wanted to keep it short. Uh, the file has to be a, a, a very light grit because if you have a file, like a very hard grit like this, it's actually going to cause more problems. You can hear it too. Now you don't want this type of file. This type of file is mainly used when you do things like acrylics and gels because it files things down quite quickly. You, you want to have all the nails the same length. Now I prefer a, a shorter nail. After I have uh, um, filed, this is the time that you want to apply a cuticle remover. I like more of a cream, some individuals. I also like uh, uh, the uh, Blue Cross, it's a liquidy. Uh, so you will have to apply that with like a Q-tip and I will put a link below if you like to buy that one. They're both very good. And so the purpose of the cuticle uh, remover is for to soften and it has uh, ingredients in there to almost like eat away the dead skin. In here, just soapy water and I'm going to soak my fingernails. Soak at least for uh, at least five minutes in nice warm water. So things that you want to take care of, of your nails and cuticles is to take uh, supplements like a B vitamins, a biotin. Biotin is very, very good. Uh, liquid collagen, and I'm really pro liquid collagen and I will put a link below. How do I get my nails stronger? Um, try to eat well uh, by eating uh, leafy greens, uh, dark vegetables, take calciums, um, iron, a very good antioxidants in any form nrf2 and i will have a link nrf in the number two spinach uh, broccoli kale chard very very good those are all things that will uh, strengthen and boost the nail health now also uh, minimize the exposure to water that means okay now i have my nails in water but if you are uh, continuously having your hands in water because of your work, uh, because of your cleaning, whatever, wear gloves because too much water will cause the peeling of uh, the nail. Stay hydrated internally. That's very uh, essential. Pay attention to your diet, that you have a combination of protein, that you have a balanced diet. Now be very careful what you apply onto the nail, the nail plate itself. So if you are uh, using a lot of harsh products or you have a nail polish on all the time, allow the nail to breathe. Uh, they don't have lungs, no, but let it breathe. 
and uh, avoid using continuously as i mentioned gels acrylics fibers and do let the uh, your nail take a break so after having the nail your nails in here with a cuticle remover and uh, soaking in soapy water that is the time that you want to take that away and it's soapy 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 all right i have a paper towel here uh, okay and to dry my nails at this time you can use like your fingernail or you can use a cut cuticle pusher push the cuticles back okay now okay, i hope you can see that now what i'm pushing back is actually the cuticle that is stuck onto the nail what i, I usually do now for this purpose i am going to show you how to clip those up the dry skin there which is actually the cuticle and i will continue to for the sake of this uh, tutorial i'm going to do this off camera there is different skin that you want to look at so the skin right here you can see this you see this dryness here that is what i will clip off i particularly don't like to cut the skin i have and you can see what i'm cutting off here cutting off all the dead skin if you cut off too much you're going to uh, make uh, the nail bleed and that's what you don't want to do be very careful um, now what i usually do to prevent this i just apply a little bit of oil and then with my other fingernail i just push it back and i do that almost like every night this one here has a little bit so i'm just going to clip a little bit so be very careful that you don't cut too much. Uh, if you cut too much and you go into the nail wall, that's when you are actually cutting uh, into the live tissue. So I filed properly. I cut the cuticles, which was ad adhered onto the nail plate. The next step that I really like is to put cuticle oil. And that something like this, I do it like almost like a, almost every night. I just put a little bit of oil. Uh, you can use jojoba, uh, avocado oil, uh, squalene oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, hemp seed oil, all good things. I, I like uh, the rosehip, and uh, I will put a, uh, a link below if you want to uh, use that. And then what I do with my other nail, I push gently. So you can use a, a cuticle pusher, or you can just use simply your fingernail and i do this like almost like every night i just get a little bit of oil and i push my cuticle back if you do that you will never need to uh, cut your cuticles or your iponike uh, buffer yes you can do buffers but buffers if you have to be very careful that you don't remove too many layers of the nail plate so a little bit of buffing is okay if you have any ridges, but since I don't have any ridges, I will not use that. At this time, I'm going to use some hand cream. Yes, yes, yes. Well, yes. So do that every night. Take care of your hands. Yes. And this one here is uh, a nail strengthener, uh, a base coat. It actually gives a little bit of shine and also it protects the nail plate. And my thumb. And that's it. Okay, so it's not like a major difference, but if, uh, because I do this like almost like a, every night, but I didn't do anything for a, for a little while, but you can see the difference. So what did I do? Filing, remember from corner to center. I soaked my fingers in here and I applied a cuticle remover. Uh, then uh, if there were anything, uh, like I cut some of the cuticle, I don't like to cut the uh, pterygium uh, because I like to leave it there because it protects my nail plate. If you wish, you can uh, buff the nail a little bit, if you wish. I love to apply a cuticle oil and I like the rosehip, as I mentioned. And uh, of course, uh, <laughs> A good hand cream and this one here I do have a link below very good hand cream and finally nail strengthener that's it 
if you do this once or twice a week, right. you will have beautiful nails. I think you can see the difference, the shine, the no dryness. Okay, let's see here. Thank you. So let me know if uh, you have any questions below. If you have not subscribed yet, uh, please consider it. Give me a like, click on the notification bell so you will not miss any of my educational tutorial. And uh, please check on the upcoming tutorial on uh, anatomy of the nail. I hope that you found this video to be useful and walk away with simple and easy tips. Until the next time, take care and God bless you.